Welcome back. Welcome to Grandma Ray Don't Play and I'm Rachel. So I would like to show you how to make a cheese sauce from scratch. Yes, a cheese sauce from scratch. Okay, hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Share the video and subscribe. And remember, I'm asking everyone to share, especially share the cabbage video. My fried cabbage video, I want that to go to over, over a million viewers all over the world. Because I think it's something that everybody would enjoy because it tastes fried like crispy versus like boiled. And I think even the kids would like it. Please, let's do that. Let's make that our mission all over the world, okay? So if you would share it with 20 people and tell the 20 people to share it with 20 people and so forth and so on, we can make that happen, okay? All right, so let me adjust the camera. I'm going to start off uh, making a roux. A roux is uh, flour and margarine or butter, and you cook it until it thickens, and that's going to be our basis for the sauce. I'm going to take it from there, all right? All right, let's do it. So, okay, in the frying pan here, I have heating up two sticks of margarine. Okay, and that's pretty melted now. So let's start out with a cup of flour. So I have a cup of flour. You put a little in and stir it. Because you may or may not need it all. You want it thick, like a paste. Yeah, I think we can take it all. You keep stirring it until the flour is dissolved. Okay, cut the fire off. Let me show you that. You see? You see it's so thick that it's falling down slowly off the pan. You see that? Okay, and it's still holding firm. Okay. So now, um, I want to add my cream to that next. Some light cream. I'm going to turn my fire back on, on like number four on my stove, not too high, okay? And then I'm going to stir that in a little at a time. We want it, uh, let's see, like runny pancake mix because we've got to add cheese to it. Okay. And we're going to also add some milk to this because the cream is thick, the roux is thick. And so that's just going to keep getting thicker. Okay, I have my milk. Milk. It's 1% milk. So you want that to thin out some because we're going to add the cheese to this and the cheese will make it go back thicker again. 
So you see I'm putting a lot of milk in there, right? So that's about a cup so far. Okay, so you know the flour is bland, right? So we got to put some salt in here to bring that flavor up. So I'm going to add some salt there, some garlic, garlic uh, powder, sorry, garlic, uh, ground garlic, trying to say, and some black pepper. Okay. And it's getting thick again. So we're going to add some more milk. Now we're on about a cup and a half of milk. Okay, let me let you see how thin I've gotten that. So, you can see how it runs off the spoon pretty fast. But I still have lumps, let me show you, on the bottom of the spoon, see? So, that means... I'm going to turn it down to number two on my stove. That means that I'm going to add some more milk. So now we're on about two cups of milk. So that was about a fourth cup of light cream and two cups of milk. Okay. Okay, great. Now I'm going to add my cheese. I got this big bag of cheese here for $5.99 at my grocery store. And it is two pounds of cheese. Okay, so now I'm going to add about two handfuls of cheese. One, two. And this is Mexican blend cheese. You can add any kind of cheese you like, okay? That doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to stir that in so that the cheese can melt. Now I want to taste it. It has no flavor. So I'm going to add some adobo. Let me add some chives. more black pepper remember I told you that flour was bland okay let me get a clean spoon taste that again.
Pera. Much better. I'm beginning to like it. I'm going to add one packed package of sugar substitute. Now this is your choice. You don't have to add it if you don't want. Or you can add honey or regular sugar. Get another spoon. Check that out. Let me see. Yes. We have cheese sauce, people. Let me show you the thickness. See how it's running? Right off the spoon, right? But yet, coating the spoon at the end. See? That's what you want. Cheese sauce. Now you can make macaroni and cheese with this. You can put it in so uh, other dish dishes that you may want to use it with. You can even use it with scrambled eggs. Anything you need a cheese sauce for. So now you know how to make cheese sauce. Even if you have American cheese, you can use that. You can use cheddar cheese. Whatever kind of cheese you want, you can use. So now you know how to make a cheese sauce. Okay? Alright, let me put that in a bowl and let you see. I'm going to cut the fire off. Okay, let me let you see this. See? Cheese sauce. Homemade cheese sauce. So you know the, like the Alfredo cheese sauce that you buy in the jar? This is the same thing, except you would use white cheese, okay? Alright, and let me get in the picture. Gotta get my thumbnail. I don't know if I can get it. It's coming out. Wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see how I'm going to do this. I don't know. There we go. That's the best I could do. Okay, well, my thumbnail may have to be without me. Thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there you go. I showed you how to make cheese sauce. And the word of the day, you make your cheese sauce, okay? Because I know you can do it. So you no longer have to worry about when you go to the store, now you got to buy cheese sauce. Well, you already bought cheese, right? You have that in your house. You already have margarine or butter in your house, and you already have flour in your house. There's no need to pay out for that, okay? All right, that's the word of the day. Make your own cheese sauce. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, share, 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 share the video. Let's make it to over a million subscribers and I'm over a million viewers on the fried cabbage and every other video, will you? Talk to you soon. Check out my links below, will you? I got a uh, giveaway coming up. Check it out. Bye-bye.